Brought to you by DCP Player. Preview any DCP ad or trailer on any PC. For more information, go to dcpplayer.net. Brought to you by DCP Encoder. A cost-effective way for a cinema owner or content producer to go to the DCP file format. For more information, contact dcpencoder.net. Hello Cinema Tech Geeks, here we are at Show West University and today uh, in this hall we're um, doing captioning technologies and Doromi and Dan here from Doromi has uh, some technology to show us today so take us away Dan. Uh, this is called uh, CaptiveView and CaptiveView is a, uh, a device that allows for uh, a digital cinema package that has closed caption enabled on it uh, to essentially uh, play back in the auditorium with this uh, wireless display. Uh, so essentially the way the technology works is that uh, you would ingest the, uh, the DCP, uh, closed caption DCP into the server and if the server has the, uh, the license enabled uh, for closed captioning, you use a wireless transmitter, it's a USB dongle that goes into the server and it transmits a Wi-Fi signal into the auditorium which then the display uh, will pick up. And so basically you can see that it's uh, picking up uh, the closed caption uh, context of the DCP. Um, so uh, what's beneficial for uh, something like this is that uh, you know uh, anybody who uh, requires uh, closed captioning, uh, you can just pick this up at the uh, customer courtesy counter and uh, it would work in any seat in the auditorium uh, as opposed to maybe some other uh, uh, solutions where you have a LCD display in the back and you got a reflector and you, sometimes the positioning of that reflector to where you're sitting in the auditorium isn't quite you know the best uh, image that you could get so this would allow you to uh, to have your own private uh, closed caption display right there uh, in front of you. Um. Uh, and I have a question, obviously this mounts in your cup holder so it can go in any part of the auditorium. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to put that forward but also uh, it, this has become very important very quickly. Now is there some legal requirements in some parts of the world? What's the story there? Well you know I'm not that close to what the story is, but but you know, being an outsider and, and listening in, I know that there are some regulations that are supposed to come into play uh, in the near future that's going to require um, closed caption uh, abilities in in auditoriums. And I'm not sure specifically what the standard is uh, or the regular regu regulatory um, uh, verbiage is on you know how many screens uh, required to have uh, assisted technology uh, installed and available to the consumer. Um, I, don't, I don't have uh, anything. Okay. I just know that it's, there's, there's some coming um, and that's why I think that uh, you know, we recognized that and started developing technology uh, to assist for that. Yeah, well, I must point out that it's very important for cinema owners to actually start thinking about this technology because so, I know in certain parts of the world it is becoming uh, sort of legal requirements um, so you need to be aware of that and keep an eye out for that if in your part of the world and if so start getting up to date with this sort of technology anyway that's Jamie G or James Gardner for Cine Tech Geek at Show West 2010 bye for now <laughs>